caged platform truck sack truck pallet truck two wheeled platform truck hazards and control for manually operated load handling equipment hazards manual handling risk bodily force is still needed instability of the load moving up down or across slopes poor parking other pedestrians may be struck trapped feet trapped person being handled hazards and control for manual operate manually operated load handling equipment trained workers only follow manufacturer recommendations avoid uneven ground and slopes use ramps over steps safe working loads during the load use the brakes if uh, fitted clear when moving or lowering the load safe parking and storage routine inspection and maintenance safety shoes or boots people hoist and handling aids patient hoist used for moving people can be manual or powered can be mobile or fixed consider the environment difficult to push on carpet a regular inspection needed people hoist and handling uh, aids samar handling aids slides slide sheets and transfer board slide patient from trolley to bed avoid lifting the person wheelchairs can be powered through most are pushed group exercise what accident could occur with the use of a forklift truck forklift truck hazards overturn of the truck fall of the hazard striking pedestrian fall or entrapment of persons riding on forks fall from loading dock forklift truck precautions restricting uh, restricting use vial inspection before use routine maintenance using proper working platform to lift people secure and stable load safe working load limits not exceed speed limits never traveling with the fork raised never traveling with obstruct obstructed vehicle forklift trucks battery powered trucks hazards explosion from hydrogen gas while charging corrosive acid manual handling arson shock burns or fire environmental battery disposable disposal precautions charge batteries in well ventilated areas no ignition sources use ppe when handling this it mechanics battery handling electrical safety insulated tools gloves forklift trucks diesel power trucks hazards dermatitis from the diesel slip hazards environmental pollution from large spills toxic exhaust fume bulk storage of diesel precautions use in well ventilated area spill kits use gloves when handling diesel liquefied petroleum lpg powered trucks hazards explosion risk from lpg toxic exhaust fumes manual handling storage of lpg cylinders or bulk precautions use in well ventilated areas mechanics lpg cylinder handling store spare cylinders in a secure safe well ventilated location lifts and hoist hazards falling object being struck by the load entanglement in moving parts falls from height being struck while while riding on the platform of the lift by hand, uh, landing levels parts of any enclosure other projections lifts and hoists precautions suitable for its intended use preventive 
people get in. Underneath the hoist or lift platform, assessed to an unprotected landing edge, struck by landings or other obstructions, when being carried on the platform, maximum safe working load, safety devices, brakes, working, competent operators, information, instruction, and training, routine maintenance, routine inspection, and throughout examination. Conveyors, hazards, drawing in hazards at in running nip points, entanglement with rotating parts, falling object, especially from overhead, overhead conveyors. Conveyors precautions, alarm to bar of start of movement, guards on moving parts, emergency stops, pull cords. Exclude people from area, guards beneath overhead, conveyors to catch falling objects, information, instruction, and training from operators. No loose clothing, long hair surgery, inspection and maintenance, defeat, defect reporting. Group exercise, what could go wrong with a mobile crane during its operation? Try to explain why. Cranes, hazards, the crane collapsing are toppling over the arm, boom, or zip striking structures, falling load, the load striking objects, or people, contact with live overhead cab cables, cranes, factors causing instability, overloading, uneven or unstable ground, not using outriggers correctively. Correctly, choose a high winds extending the jib or boom to far structural failure. Requirements for safe lifting operations. General requirements suitable for the task and appropriately rated. Equipment stable and secure. Visibly marked with safe working load. Lifting operations planned, carried out, and supervised by competent persons. Equipment for lifting persons may require additional inspections. Requirements for safe lifting operations. Planning and preparing the lift. Risk assessment by a competent person. Check crane test records, trained operators. Correct type for the job and terrain. Load within safe lifting capacity. Requirements for safe lifting operations carrying out the lift. Careful sitting, use outriggers correctly, plan and supervise the lifts. Benchman, signaler, overload indicators work. Check weather conditions, use PP, hard hats, gloves, high visibility boots. Warning signs, attach slings carefully, carry out a test lift, guide using tag lines. Requirements, statutory uh, examination of lifting equipment. Examples from European, EU, UK, lifting operations and lifting equipment regulations, 1998, lower uh, lifting operation and lifting equipment regulation that is lower through examination before it is used for the first time periodically after an event that may have affected its strength and stability frequency of through examination every 12 months were not to use to carry people every six months were used to carry people every six months Lifting accessories by a competent engineer. End of section 3.6.3 uh, 6 exercise. What are the potential hazards arising from the use of a manual pallet truck to move a heavy load? Summary. In this element, we have defined ergonomics, identified the MSDS, 
associated with poor work design and identified factors that influence ergonomic risk. Describe the application of ergonomic principles to DSE use. Outline the main types of injuries associated with manual handling as MSDS and WRULDS. Describe the four main factors that have to be considered during the manual handling discussions. The task interfere with capabilities, the load, and the environment. Thank you so much for listening.